Hello there, welcome to the second edition of the Java Tutorials. Here we're going to be covering uh, Java keywords and some basic Java data types. So let's get started by making a new class file. What a class file is, is it's just a blueprint for something basically. And an object is just an instance of that class made using the uh, new operator. We'll go over that today. I'll call this tutorial 2. Okay, so I've made a few charts for us in MS Paint, so we're going to have a look at those. There are your Java data types. Most of them are for storing numbers. We'll go over them a bit more later. This is an order from smallest to largest, and at the, the bottom two are a bit different. Byte, short, integer, long, floating point, and a double floating point. The difference between the integer and the float and double is uh, an integer stores basically whole numbers. There are no decimal accuracy and float and double store uh, numbers with decimal accuracy. So if you're going to do math with division and stuff, you won't want to use an integer because it's going to cut off the end of your values. Boolean just stores true or false, also known as 0 or 1. And care just stores a single character from the keyboard. The other diagram I want to go over is some Java keywords. As you can see, these include uh, some data types and also some functions data types like byte and functions like continue which can help you break out of a loop or move on to the next part in the loop class which is a uh, blueprint integer stuff like that so these cannot be used as variable names these must always be uh, these are always reserved for their certain functions and let's go through and actually those are not all the data types uh, we're missing a few those are just the main ones we're going to be using throughout this tutorial one that's not on there that we're actually going to use today is string. String is basically uh, like sentences. You can store a collection of letters, numbers, characters, and stuff like that. I'm going to start off with a proper introduction to comments today. We're going to get started with some uh, line style comments. These are called line style comments. As you know, the compiler always skips your comments. It will go right to the source code and ignore this. This is just so that other people can read your source code or even you can read your source code a bit easier. Line style comments only work for one line so this is a comment and you can't start writing down here because you need to start with two more lines if you're going to do this but there's a special way to do that. It's called uh, block comments. They're for multi-line. And for block comments you just start with one backslash, a star, and then you end with another star and then a backslash but these are for multi-line like so and you can write whatever you want over here as long as you do not pass the last star so you can't write right here and you can't write right there as long as it's over there that's all I need to know about comments I guess they're not very amazing so now I'm going to start with uh, data types and variables. Let me show you the difference between integer and long and stuff like that. So in order to declare a variable, first you declare its type. So you can go int, and then you give it a name. I'm going to say int our first number, then equal sign, and what you want it to be. So you're going to put at 10 to make things simple, and you always end lines with a semicolon. Now the compiler, not compiler, the IDE is going to throw some errors right now because we haven't used this integer yet. We just declared it and it's sitting there being useless. So we're going to make a double with the same value. Our first double. We're going to make it 10. <coughs> now these are both being used, so they're going to be underlined. Now in order to out, uh, output variables, you do system.out.println and then you put the variable name in there without the quotes. Quotes are only for strings, string data. So you go our first number, 
this is going to show the integer. And on the next line, you do our first double. This is going to show you the difference between an integer and a double. I don't know why it's underlining that still. Oh, well, because it's in quotes, that's why. Got to take out the quotes. Now we'll give that a test. As you can see down here, the integer 10, and the double display is 10.0, because the integer doesn't have accuracy like a double does. So, that's basically a data type, as so you can guess. If you wanted to do a string, which is a basically a collection of words, numbers, it's just basically a sentence. Right, string, we'll call it a string equals, and you probably put strings in quotes. Numbers don't have to be in quotes. Hello Java. You end with a semicolon all the time on a line. Now, a string. As you can see, this is just going to print out what we had before, as well as Hello Java. Those are the main uh, and data types that you're going to need to follow through my, my tutorials to begin to more advanced things. Now in Java when you want to uh, store something, a string for example, that is when you want to keep the value there and like store it so you can like change it later if you want but when you just want to say something in a sentence you have to put quotes. So you're going to go this is not a variable. See, we're just saying it on the fly. So now we're going to test that out. Down here. You can say this is not a variable. But you see now, if I made this string var equals this is not a variable. Then down here you can take out the quotes because you're not initializing it in that statement right there. You have it stored up here, it's stored permanently until you change it or whatever and you're not just initializing it on the fly. But you can combine that, you can go plus whatever, actually this is a variable. See, this is a variable, whatever, at the end. See, this is not saved in a variable. This is when I just want to add something to the uh, statement, and that is a variable, so it doesn't have to be in quotes. Okay, and uh, when you're going to combine statements, it's called combining when you put uh, two things together. We'll make two new strings for this. We'll go string my name is equal to John. I'll go string intro equals hello my name is you can guess what this is gonna do we're gonna introduce ourselves so now you can go string or not string system dot out dot print line now we go intro to combine statements in Java use a plus sign my name so you go intro plus my name it's going to say, hello, my name is John. There you go. Hello, my name is John. And that wraps up this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next tutorial.